Hey everyone, this is Josh Hayes. I'm going to show you my review of my new Yezu FT450D. As you can see, there's a lot of buttons on it. It's a really complex radio, but not super complex. It's a lot more complex than my Zygu G90 radio, but this is like the Mercedes Benz of radios. Yezu right there. See that? Yezu. It's a very nice radio, y'all. As you can see, this is 160 meters. I'll go ahead and turn up the volume. Whoops, my camera fell down. I'll turn up my volume, and this is 160 meters on 1.875 megahertz. You can take the DSP where the width is, and i open that up. You could also lower it, and then the DNR will help. About three is what I usually use it as. And also, uh, the attenuator can really help too, clear that signal up. And the squelch as well. That's some really good uh, filters, y'all. And I sometimes turn the uh, attenuator off because if it's a weaker signal, then it'll, you know, It'll have a better signal or a louder volume if it's a weaker signal, if the attenuator's off. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's sometimes easy to bump the little knobs, y'all. The cool thing about this radio is I have this button right here programmed where if I click it, it shows me my SWR. Of course, my SWR is really up right there. Uh, there is a little trick that you can do to improve the SWR down to like one. And I can show you all that one day. Then I go into different bands up to that um, uh, 80 meter band here. And what I'll do is I'll click this button right here down to 3.8. And I go back down to the 3.8. Zero zero. And we'll listen around for any stations. There's a station right there, y'all. Yeah. 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 Really good audio, y'all. Yeah. Really good audio. And I'll go off down there a little bit and I'll check my SWR all the way down to like perfectly one. That's with the tuner on. If I turn the tuner off, it's not as good. But if I click the tune on, it's great. And I can still tune it if I need to, but I really don't need to because it's down all the way to one. Like zero basically. <laughs> it's a great SWR great antenna tuner y'all that's what a really good feature about this radio is the antenna tuner that's built in it has a very good antenna tuner in my opinion and it can be adjusted to even be better you know um, you can expand it where it's a little bit better at, um, tuning range I believe as long as it doesn't go over a certain number and then it's a still I mean it's a it's still a really good you know spot for the number when you're trying to tune, you're not going overboard to stretch the tuner too far, you know. Now, this is just a really good radio, y'all. Let's go on 40 meters. 40 meters. Let's see. Let's tune around there. Tune around on 40 meters. That's a shift uh, knob there too. That could be a station in Mexico. That'd be really cool.
I'm not sure why I'm not hearing a lot of stations on 40 tonight. Let's try 20 meters. Let's check my, without the tuner on, let's check my SWR. It'll help me see how good my antenna is as well. Look at that, y'all. That's great. I'm using an in-fed half-wave antenna. Or an in-fed, I think it's an in-fed half-wave antenna or just an in-fed antenna. Perfect SWR, y'all. That's great. Now, I don't even need the antenna tuner for that uh, band. Let's keep going on the frequency here. Well, it goes to whoop. It goes. It stops at 350. There we go. 225 to 350 for me. I'm a general class operator. 17 meters, 110 to 168. Oh. There we go. 21, 275 to 450. Let's see what the SWR is. See how it's down to like one and a half? That's pretty good, but I think I can get it better. Put my antenna tuner on. There you go. It's a good antenna tuner, y'all, for real. Okay. 12 meters. Let's check the SWR. That's not too optimal. I need to maybe take out some of the kinks out of my antenna. If I put the tuner on, look, that's pretty good. What if I tune it? That's how you tune it, y'all. Look how nice that is tuning. It's pretty good. Um, if you adjust the settings, you can make it tuned down all the way to zero, basically, though. But the best thing is to get your antenna working better, to be honest. It has a really nice antenna tuner in this radio. And let's go on to 10 meters. It's on 10 meters FM. My SWR is a little bit elevated on here because I believe it's the kinks in my antenna. If I put the tuner on, it brings it down to like zero, which is great. Anyways, y'all. I'll turn my volume down here with my volume knob. I hope you all enjoyed this review of the Yezu FT450D. It has all kinds of buttons. It has a really nice microphone that comes with it. You could adjust the microphone gain as well in the settings. Oh yeah, y'all. I almost forgot. It also has, it's 10 meters, 6 meters, y'all. It has six meters as well, which is great because I've never used six meters and uh, they call it the magic band. It's in the VHF spectrum, I believe, but it sometimes has HF characteristics like talking further distance, I believe, which is actually really cool, to be honest. I'm not sure. I think two meters does that sometimes. Kind of rare, though, I believe. Uh, this is just a nice, solid radio, y'all. Solid metal. It's... it's uh, decent size it's not super big though it's a really nice looking radio it really is a nice looking radio you could also um, go from power with this button right here if you click it power alc swr i like to have it on swr to make sure i can check my swr when i'm transmitting also, I like the power where I see how much power my radio is putting out. And ALC, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but SWR. And I have this button right here programmed where it, you just hold it down and it checks the SWR. Uh, I don't know why it's not doing that on FM mode. Uh, that's kind of different. Let's see. Maybe you have to be in uh, upper side band to check it. It's kind of different, y'all. I'm sure there's a reason why it won't let me check the SWR. FMO, let's see if it'll tune. It's kind of different. 
I have to figure that out. It's kind of like locked right there, but you could turn it like this. Huh. It'll let you know if it's the hand band or not. I'm gonna transmit and see what my SWR is. Oh, transmit error, no wonder. It has to be in the, uh, I thought that was the, uh, I thought that was the six meter band. But the cool thing is it won't let you transmit out of frequency, which is great. I'm not sure exactly what the frequencies are from for the uh, six meter band but i know they general class extra uh technician we all have the same frequency privileges i believe uh, see now it'll now it's in the six meter band range so now you can see the swr is not super great but i can put the tuner on still not super great what if i tune it I think it might help it, y'all. Seriously. Check that out, y'all. It tuned six meters that good. That's amazing. Uh, best thing is to have resonant antennas, most likely. Because if it's a resonant antenna, it's uh, tuned for that specific frequency. In fed antennas are really good for all the bands though and this is just a really nice radio y'all it has a lot of features and it's just a really nice radio i hope y'all enjoyed my youtube review of this yezu ft 450d hf and 50 megahertz transceiver so it has hf 160 down to six meters 160 down to six meters and i have a VHF Yezu 2900R I believe and it's a VHF 144.000 all the way to 148 so I really don't need you know a VHF transceiver in this as well because I have one and it's like a mobile but it's 75 watts so it could be a base station as well and this is 100 watts up to 100 watts but I have to get the correct uh, power supply Right now, I'm using a Radio Shack 19 amp, 13.8 volt power supply. So, as you can see, if I hold down my power, I'm in my menu button, and I click this button, RF power. Currently, this is set to 100 watts, but on the uh, other bands, on upper sideband or lower sideband, it's set to 50 watts. And I'm just waiting until I can buy the 30 amp power supply and then i hold the f button down which is the menu button and it closes the menu because i need a 30 amp power supply for this radio to perform optimally all the way up to 100 watts as it's intended to do on this radio and uh yeah i'll be excited when i get the 30 amp power supply because it requires up to 22 amps i believe for this radio I have to do the research to make sure 30 amps is okay for a power supply for this. I think it will be, though, but I'll have to make sure and research about that. Anyways, y'all, check how nice this radio is. I'm really happy with it. It's a solid piece of metal. Really good, solid radio. And you can do digital modes with this radio. I believe it's uh, you connect the microphone and the speaker to a laptop or a desktop for digital modes or you can get like a computer interface signal link or something like that I think but I've never really done digital modes yet so I'm not exactly sure what all that's about but it seems really interesting to be honest it has a nice speaker up here it's just a really good radio I hope y'all enjoyed this, uh, you know, radio review of mine, the Yezu FT450D. Above all, may God bless you all, and have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Thank you. And please subscribe. Thank you.